What is up guys, welcome to another video. I'm um, sorry about taking a week off there where I didn't post any photos or any videos or anything, but I'm back now, ready than ever, and ready to bring some more content and some more reviews to the table. And uh, in the future there's gonna be more of a vlog style towards um, this channel, which I'm gonna be looking forward to before the time being with the state of the world and the amount of effort I'm willing to put in for a video um, it's just gonna be reviews of the knives and watches and gear that I have at the moment so I hope you guys are looking forward to the future of this channel and where it is at the moment as well alright so today we're gonna to be starting off looking at the Boca Leviathan um, this isn't one of Boca's biggest knives like the Kalashnikov or anything like that this is the Boca Leviathan, which is their um, Boca Plus range, so it is a little bit more premium, pro like more premium than their Magnum range. This, the steel on this is a D2, and it has a stone wash finish on it. I'll see if I can get that in. And if you see, you can kind of see that stone wash to it. And you can see here the uh, Boca Plus logo. Um, coming over to the handle, it is a G10 handle and it's got some nice texturing on it. And um, it runs on um, ball bearings. So it's super smooth. Like, this is one of the. This was um, the second knife. I bought after my Gerbers. Of course I bought a bunch of Gerbers first because they're cheaper and more affordable and then I got my Benchmade bug out and then um, at, the, at the very same time I got my Benchmade bug out I saw this sitting in the um, in the case and I thought oh, I gotta have it like because I was looking at it for so long and I just knew I had to have it and then I learnt up on the history of Boca and how they make like steel out of tanks and all this crazy stuff. I just knew I had to have a Boca. And I'm glad that I did get a Boca because they are now my favourite knife brand. I have never been let down with their Boca knife and I'm 100% going to be getting more. So there's two ways you can open this knife. As you can see there is the flipper. And there is the thumb hole, which both are really easy to open. I can open it one handed with the thumb hole and with the flipper. Um, it runs as a stainless steel frame lock, and it isn't a deep carry pocket clip, but it is um, a really good pocket clip. It's got really nice retention on it, I had no issues. The only problem, the one problem I find with this knife is this here will grab your pockets and rip them a little bit on the inside, but that's only if you have cheap pockets. Um, anything that's like a fabric with stitching, it'll pull the stitching. So just make sure you're a little bit wary of that when you, if you do end up getting this knife. But in my opinion, this is one of the best knives in my collection. I have more expensive knives in my collection like my Bug Out and um, my Wee Banter 
and I would have to say this knife is better than both of them. Like I do love, love my Wii Banter, but uh, this knife just hits a really nice spot with the way it just flicks open with that flipper. Just, just the fiddle and the fit and finish of it. Everything about it, I just, I just love it. I just. And I do prefer a good frame lock over a liner lock, in my opinion. And um, on this side, it is a stainless steel. I'm pretty sure it's stainless with the pocket clip. They did match the stone wash from the blade to the handle, same as on the um, Gerber flat iron, which I did a video on in the corner. So my biggest problems with this knife would have to be that ripping of the pockets um I wish it was a deep carry in my opinion I love deep carry everyone loves a deep carry pocket clip and that's probably about it like I don't have I love I'm in love with D2 steel like I will choose a D2 steel over an S30V or any of them any day because D2 is just the perfect work steel and in my opinion, it's definitely a steel I would prefer to use. Um, I love flippers. I love thumb holes. They're always like fun, easy to get to. With a thumb stud, they're a little bit eh, icky. Sometimes they can get stuck or you don't flick it the right way. With a flipper, you literally just push down on it and it, it's, it's open. With a thumb hole, you just jam your finger in there and you open it. There's kind of no going wrong with it. Um, I love the bull bearings on it, they are super smooth, like butter, they are like, they are like butter, like, and I've had this knife for probably about a year, over a year now, and it's worn in so nicely, like it is, when I first got it, it was, it was tough, like the flipper was a little and I've pulled it apart a few times, cleaned it, and it's just come out so smooth. I'm really happy with this knife. It is the best knife in my collection, hands down. Better than all my Gerbers, better than my Benchmate, and sorry to Ben Peterson, but it's better than the um, Wii Banter. Just because it has a flipper and a frame lock. That's literally the only difference. And it's a bigger knife, like... More to note about this knife, it does have a bigger brother called the Latuitus, I think you call it. The Boca Latuitus. Something like that, I'm really just, I'm botching that up so badly. And it's probably a bit bigger, it's a little more, I, I would call it curvier than this one. This one is kind of like straight edges, like you'll notice the back here is completely straight, then it goes to a sharp angle, and then a sharp cutoff angle, sharp again, and then it's kind of rounded for your hands, and then it goes back to sharp, 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 and then the blade is like up, down, and then goes down, and then goes to a curved belly. I like that look. I actually really like a look where it's kind of a bit more boxy, because it just feels more like it feels hard working like you could put this knife to the test like i've cut boxes i've cut rope i've cut sticky tape i've cut from most household stuff with this knife as an edc and it does the job that d2 steel doesn't blunt in easily the g10 handles are really grippy i've dealt with it with wet hands and it just it puts up a good fight, and I think that's something that needs to be noted about Boca is they will make a knife that can put up a fight, and I like that. So as you can see on the back here, it also says um, it's a Jason Stout design, which I'm not big on the whole um, custom-made knives, but I'm guessing Stout knives would be a big thing. And if you guys could help me out on that, just leave a comment down below and tell me if stout knives is a big thing, because I would love to know, but if they are, I can understand why, because this knife is pretty amazing, and it's, 
it's really underrated in the knife world and I hope people start to pick it up and really realize how good of a knife this is and realize how good of a company Boca is as well because they are making amazing stuff this year already and I'm excited to see. So the overall length of this knife is coming in at 7.28 inches. The blade length is 3.1 inches and it's I just have to I, I love the fact that the blade is uncoated because I find coated blades they look good but more fingerprints show up on them when you start using them and that coating starts to wear off you notice it like patina 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 yes but there's a there's a line to be crossed and I just find coated blades are that line like if it's a good like coating I'm sure I'll give it a try but in my opinion I like that this knife is it's uncoated and it's hard working and it's 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 literally made to work like Boca Plus lines are here's a mid-range price knife it's not premium and it's not cheap here's a mid-range price knife that's been outsourced to another well-known company that we're working with and here's the product we've come up with and then they sell it for a really good price like it's 94 what's $94.95 on their website that's US dollars that's a pretty well priced I paid in Australian dollars I paid it was 114 for this I paid 205 for my Benchmade bug out the spring broke the tip of the blade broke and I paid less for this and I've had no issues zero issues with this knife I pay more and I seem to have more issues with the more expensive knives than the cheaper knives like Gerber. Not one issue. There's been a few issues here and there, but none that have actually stopped me from using the knife or having to reprofile a tip or anything that's important to the knife being a knife. This knife has served me well and I'm, I know it's going to serve me for much longer and I'm 100% going to be getting another Boca this year like my next knife on my list is rather going to be sorry to say it, the mini Benchmade Adamas because I've been wanting the full size one for so long but I wanted a more EDC size so it'll probably be the mini Adamas or it's going to be another Boca I'm not sure which Boca yet I might look at slip joints or I'm I don't know if I'm looking towards a slip joint or if I'm looking more towards a Boca Plus flipper or anything like that. I might head towards a um, traditional or even a modern traditional slip joint like a Best Man or maybe even just like a Boca Solid. I'm not 100% but I will be keeping you guys updated on that and I'm excited to see how it goes because I'm really looking forward to the knives of 2021. Like they're gonna be really good like how good this knife is I know Boca have come out with some really amazing stuff and I'm excited to see if I can get my hands on any of the cool stuff they're bringing out so if you guys did like this just quick review run over of the Boca Leviathan leave a like and maybe even just a subscribe would be nice and just support the channel because it's new, it's fresh, it's starting. I'm slowly getting more used to talking on a camera. I'm just beginning and I want to see if this can go somewhere. And your support would be really fundamental in this. So please make sure you guys leave a like, a subscribe, even a comment down below on some tips or tricks. Or even just if you want to talk about a knife. It would be great to get to know everyone. And please enjoy your stay here and enjoy the content. So I'll catch you guys in the next one and enjoy your week.